there are many different ways of growing cucumbers. A lot of people like to put black bags over the top. Always plant two or three seeds touching. My preferred way is under plastic of some kind and this also means you need less water because the condensation inside will keep them watered so you don't waste water. There are two types of cucumber. The climbing varieties with long fruit that are grown under glass and the ridge varieties that are much shorter and are usually grown in the open. The advantage of the greenhouse varieties is that they can be started earlier and are not as dependent on the weather. Ridge varieties on the other hand need less looking after and are less prone to attack by pests and diseases which thrive in the warmth of the greenhouse. The greenhouse forms are usually preferred mainly because outdoor cucumbers have tough, often prickly skins and do not look as elegant as the indoor cousins. Gherkins are a form of ridge cucumber which are also used for pickling as any immature ridge cucumber can also be used. Greenhouse cucumbers need a high temperature in which to germinate and a high temperature in which to grow. Using seed of all female varieties they are less likely to be bitter so two or threes edgeways together in pots or modules and place in a propagator at 24 degrees centigrade, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. When they germinate, remove the weaker seedlings and reduce the temperature to 21 degrees centigrade, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. They need supports as they grow and water to keep the soil constantly moist. If grown in a greenhouse, you can pinch out the tops if required. Ridge or outdoor cucumbers need a sunny spot sheltered from the wind. You can add plenty of well-rotted manure to the soil before sowing if you like. Ridge cucumbers can be sown either inside in pots or outdoors where they are to grow. If sown directly, cover them with at least a glass jam jar or cloche to raise the temperature. Do not sow until after a threat of frost has passed and the soil has warmed up. Sow leaving about 75 centimetres, 30 inches in each direction between the plants. Be sure not to disturb the roots in any way when transplanting. You may consider growing in toilet rolls or something similar where you can easily open the bottoms when planting out to avoid this situation. Pinch out the tip of the main shoot after six leaves has formed so that the plant pushes out. Water freely, do not let it dry out. Once the fruit starts to develop, you can feed with a high potash liquid feed every two weeks if you like. If you have a lack of pollinators to pollinate the flowers, just use a little paintbrush to brush round all the flowers and pollinate each other.
to harvest, cut the fruit with short length of stalk as soon as they are large enough to eat. Do not let them overgrow or they might not be so good to eat. Pick frequently and more fruit will then develop. You can harvest the gherkins when they are 5 to 8 centimetres or 2 to 3 inches long. They keep for no more than a few days and are best eaten fresh. The main pest and diseases of cucumber are normally slugs and snails which can quickly eat through a stem, killing the plant. So remove by whichever method you prefer. I do videos on natural ways to get rid of all pests. If grown in the greenhouse you will find red spider mite and white fly may be a problem. Other problems such as rot are usually because of either badly drained soil or over watering. 